Hello and welcome back for day 163. Today we will be reading from 1 Chronicles 3 and 4, Job 7, and John 20. 1 Chronicles chapter 3. Now these were the sons of David, which were born unto him in Hebron, the firstborn Amnon, and Ahinoam, the Jezreelites, the second Daniel, of Abigail the Carmelites, the third Absalom, the son of Maaka, the daughter of Talmai, king of Geshur, the fourth Adoniah, the son of Haggith, the fifth Shephatiah, of Abital, the sixth Ithrium, by Egla his wife. These six were born unto him in Hebron, and there he reigned seven years and six months, and in Jerusalem he reigned thirty and three years, and these were born unto him in Jerusalem, Shimea, and Shobab, and Nathan, and Solomon, four of Bathshua, the daughter of Amiel, Ebar also, and Elishama, and Elifelet, and Noga, and Nephig, and Yaphia, and Elishama, and Eliada, and Elifelet. 9. These were all the sons of David, beside the sons of the concubines, and Tamar their sister. And Solomon's son was Rehoboam, Abia his son, Asa his son, Jehoshaphat his son, Yoram his son, Ahaziah his son, Yoash his son, Amaziah his son, Azariah his son, Yotham his son, Ahaz his son, Hezekiah his son, Manasseh his son, Ammon his son, Yoziah his son, and the sons of Yoziah were the firstborn Yohanan, the second Jehoiakim, the third Zedekiah, the fourth Shalom, and the sons of Jehoiakim, Yekonia his son, Zedekiah his son, and the sons of Yekonia, Asir, Salathiel his son, Machiram also, and Padaya, and Shenazer, Yekamia, Hoshama, and Nedabia, and the sons of Padaya were Zerubbabel, and Shimei, and the sons of Zerubbabel, Mashulam, and Hanania, and Shalomith their sister, and Hashuba, and Ohel, and Berechia, and Hasadia, Yushab, Hesed, five, and the sons of Hanania, Pelatia, and Yesaiah, the sons of Rephiah, the sons of Arnon, the sons of Obadiah, the sons of Shekaniah, and the sons of Shekaniah, Shemaiah, and the sons of Shemaiah, Hatush, and Egael, and Baria, and Nadia, and Shaphat, six, and the sons of Neariah, Elione, and Hezekiah, and Osricum, three, and the sons of Elone were Hedoai, and Eliashib, and Pelaiah, and Akub, and Yehonan, and Deliah, and Anani, seven. First Chronicles chapter four. The sons of Judah, Pharez, Hezron, and Carmi, and Hur, and Shobal, and Rea the son of Shobal, begat Yahath, and Yahath begat Ahumai, and Lahad. These are the families of the Zorathites, and these were of the father of Etim, Yezreel, and Ishma, and Idbash, and the name of their sister was Hazalel Pony, and Penuel the father of Geder, and Ezer the father of Husha. These are the sons of Hur, the firstborn of Ephrata, the father of Bethlehem, and Asher, the father of Tekoa, had two wives, Hela and Naara, and Naara bare him, Ahuzam, and Hefer, and Temani, and Haashtari. These were the sons of Naara, and the sons of Hela were Zerith, and Yezoar, and Ethnan, and Koz begat Anub, and Zobeba, and the families of Aharhel, the son of Harum, and Yebez was more honorable than his brethren. And his mother called his name Yabez, saying, Because I bear him with sorrow. And Yabez called on the God of Israel, saying, O oh, that thou wouldest bless me indeed, and enlarge my coast, and that thine hand might be with me, and that thou wouldest keep me from evil, that it may not grieve me. And God granted him that which he requested. And Caleb, the brother of Shua, begat Mehir, which was the father of Eshton. And Eshton begat Bethrepha, and Pasia, and Tehina, the father of Irnahash, these are the men of Racha, and the sons of Kenes, Othniel, and Seraiah, and the sons of Othniel, Hathoth, and Meonathai begat Ophrah, 
and Sariah begat Yoab, the father of the valley of Kerashim, for they were craftsmen, and the sons of Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, Eru, Ella, and Naam, and the sons of Ella, even Kanaz, and the sons of Yehalalil, Zeph, and Zepha, Tyria, and Azareel, and the sons of Ezra were Yether, and Merid, and Ephr, and Yalin, and she bare Miriam, and Shemai, and Ishba, the father of Eshtomoa, and his wife, Yehudia, bare Yerid, the father of Geder, and Heber, the father of Soko, and Yekuthiel, the father of Zenoa. And these are the sons of Bithia, the daughter of Pharaoh, which Merid took, and the sons of his wife, Hodia, the sister of Naham, the father of Kila, the Garmite, and Ishtomoa, the Maakathite, and the sons of Shimon were Amnon, and Rena, Benhanan, and Telon, and the sons of Ishi were Zoheth, and Ben Zoheth, the sons of Shelah, the son of Judah, were Er, the father of Leka, and Laada, the father of Maresha, and the families of the house of them that wrought fine linen of the house of Ashbia, and Yochim, and the men of Chozeba, and Yoash, and Saraf, who had the dominion in Moab, and Yashubi Lechem, and these are ancient things. These were the potters, and those that dwelt among plants and hedges. There they dwelt with the king for his work. The sons of Simeon were Nemuel, and Yamin, Yarib, Sarah, and Shual, Shalom his son, Mibsam his son, Mishma his son, and the sons of Mishma, Hamuel his son, Zachar his son, Shimei his son, and Shimei had sixteen sons and six daughters, but his brethren had not many children, neither did all their family multiply like to the children of Judah, and they dwelt at Beersheba and Molada, and Hazarshuel, and at Bilcha, and at Ezim, and at Tolid, and at Bethuel, and at Horma, and at Ziglag, and at Beth Markaboth, and Hazar Susim, and at Beth Berea, and at Sha'araim. These were their cities unto the reign of David, and their villages were Etim, and Ain, and Rimen, and Tochen, and Ashen, five cities. And all their villages that were round about the same cities unto Baal, these were their habitations, and their genealogy, and Meshobab, and Yamlek, and Yosha, the son of Amaziah, and Yoel, and Yehu, the son of Yosibia, the son of Sariah, the son of Asiel, and Elionai, and Yaakoba, and Yeshohai, and Esaiah, and Adiel, and Yesimiel, and Benaiah, and Aziza, the son of Shifi, the son of Alan the son of Yediah, the son of Shimri, the son of Shemaiah. These mentioned by their names were princes in their families, and the house of their fathers increased greatly. And they went to the entrance of Geder, even unto the east side of the valley, to seek pasture for their flocks. And they found fat pasture and good, and the land was wide and quiet and peaceable, for they of Ham had dwelt there of old. And these written by name came in the days of Hezekiah, the king of Judah, and smote their tents, and the habitations that were found there, and destroyed them utterly unto this day, and dwelt in their rooms, because there was pasture there for their flocks. And some of them, even of the sons of Simeon, five hundred men, went to Mount Seir, having for their captains Pelatia, and Nearyah, and Rephiah, and Uziel, the sons of Ishi. And they smote the rest of the Amalekites that were escaped, and dwelt there unto this day. Job chapter 7. Is there not an appointed time to man upon earth? Are not his days also like the days of an hireling? As a servant earnestly desireth the shadow, and as an hireling looketh for the reward of his work, so am I made to possess months of vanity, and wearisome nights are appointed to me. When I lay down, I say, When shall I arise, and the night be gone? And I am full of tossings to and fro unto the dawning of the day. My flesh is clothed with worms and clods of dust. My skin is broken and become loathsome. My days are swifter than a weaver's shuttle and are spent without hope. O oh, remember that my life is wind. Mine eyes shall no more see good. The eye of him that hath seen me shall see no more. Thine eyes are upon me, and I am not. As the cloud is consumed 
and vanisheth away. So he that goeth down to the grave shall come up no more. He shall return no more to his house, neither shall his place know him any more. Therefore I will not refrain my mouth. I will speak in the anguish of my spirit. I will complain in the bitterness of my soul. Am I a sea or a whale, that thou settest a watch over me? When I say, My bed shall comfort me, my couch shall ease my complaints, then thou scarest me with dreams, and terrifiest me through visions, so that my soul chooseth strangling, and death rather than my life. I loathe it, I would not live alway. Let me alone, for my days are vanity. What is man, that thou shouldest magnify him, and that thou shouldest set thine heart upon him, and that thou shouldest visit him every morning, and try him every moment? How long wilt thou not depart from me, nor let me alone, till I swallow down my spittle? I have sinned. What shall I do unto thee, O thou preserver of men? Why hast thou set me as a mark against thee, so that I am a burden to myself? And why dost thou not pardon my transgression? and take away mine iniquity. For now shall I sleep in the dust, and thou shalt seek me in the morning, but I shall not be. John chapter 20, verses 1 through 31. The first day of the week cometh Mary Magdalene early, when it was yet dark, unto the sepulchre, and seeth the stone taken away from the sepulchre. Then she runneth, and cometh to Simon Peter, and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved, and saith unto them, They have taken away the Lord out of the sepulchre, and we know not where they have laid him. Peter therefore went forth, and that other disciple, and came to the sepulchre. So they ran both together. And the other disciple did outrun Peter, and came first to the sepulchre. And he stooping down, and looked in, saw the linen clothes lying, yet went he not in. Then cometh Simon Peter following him, and went into the sepulchre, and seeth the linen clothes lie and the napkin that was about his head, not lying with the linen clothes, but wrapped together in a place by itself. Then went in also that other disciple which came first to the sepulchre, and he saw, and believed. For as yet they knew not the scripture, that he must rise again from the dead. Then the disciples went away again unto their own home. But Mary stood without, at the sepulchre weeping, and as she wept, she stooped down, and looked into the sepulchre and seeth two angels in white sitting, the one at the head, and the other at the feet, where the body of Jesus had lain. And they say unto her, Woman, why weepest thou? She saith unto them, Because they have taken away my Lord, and I know not where they have laid him. And when she had thus said, she turned herself back, and saw Jesus standing, and knew not that it was Jesus. Jesus saith unto her, Woman, why weepest thou? Whom seekest thou? She, supposing him to be the gardener, saith unto him, Sir, if thou have borne him hence, tell me where thou hast laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus saith unto her, Mary. She turned herself, and saith unto him, Rabboni? Which is to say, Master? Jesus saith unto her, Touch me not, for I am not yet ascended to my father, but go to my brethren, and say unto them, I ascend unto my father, and your father, and to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene came, and told the disciples that she had seen the Lord, and that he had spoken these things unto her. Then the same day at evening, being the first day of the week, when the doors were shut where the disciples were assembled, for the fear of the Jews, came Jesus and stood in the midst, and saith unto them, Peace be unto you. And when he had so said, he shewed unto them his hands and his side, Then were the disciples glad, when they saw the Lord. Then said Jesus to them again, Peace be unto you, as my Father hath sent me, even so send I you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them, and saith unto them, Receive ye the Holy Ghost. Whosesoever sins ye remit, they are remitted unto them, and whosesoever sins ye retain, they are retained. But Thomas, one of the twelve, called Didymus, was not with them when Jesus came. The other disciples therefore said unto him, We have seen the Lord. But he said unto them, Except I shall see in his hands the print of the nails, and put my finger into the print of the nails, and thrust my hand into his side, I will not believe. And after eight days again his disciples, 
were within, and Thomas with them. Then came Jesus, the doors being shut, and stood in the midst, and said, Peace be unto you. Then saith he to Thomas, Reach hither thy finger, and behold my hands, and reach hither thy hand, and thrust it into my side, and be not faithless but believing. And Thomas answered and said unto him, My Lord and my God. Jesus saith unto him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. Blessed are they that have not seen, and yet have believed. And many other signs truly did Jesus in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book, but these are written that ye might believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing ye might have life through his name. That concludes our reading for the day. May the Lord bless everyone listening with strength, health, and courage, today and always.